Hello, I'm James Earl Jones, and welcome to a very special summer show, The Mad Woman of Central Park West, starring Phyllis Newman, taped before a live audience at the John Drew Theater, East Hampton, Long Island. As a matter of fact, she's not only the star, but the chorus, the supporting cast, and the principal writer of the piece. An omnitalented gentleman named Arthur Lawrence helped it on the book and directed this unique one-woman show. When Miss Newman asked him to collaborate, Mr. Lawrence was doubtful for only a moment. And then he said, Phyllis, isn't that a bit redundant? You've been a one-woman show all your life. But as you're about to see, the idea worked like a charm. The Mad Woman of Central Park West is a musical review that combines the best songs of the best composers on Broadway. Each number tells you a little bit more about a breezy, vulnerable, showbiz lady performing a balancing act designed to keep her family and her career functioning normally. You don't have to be a mad woman to build your life on this kind of a tightrope, but it helps if you're talented, bold, very funny, a little scared, and above all, honest. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Phyllis Newman. Somebody's gonna do Don't laugh Somebody's gonna do Don't laugh Well Everything's gonna be You watch by You hear a laugh That laugh is mine I hope for all for now by mobile once upon a time there lived an emperor who believed only in what he could see thus he made a policy of banishing what was abstract or immaterial the emperor hereby bans truth beauty fair play the wind and brotherly love Royal haberdasher, and in, in this new robe, I see wonderful embroidery and tailoring, but what is this extra percentum you would receive? Just a bit of profit, oh potentate. Uh, profit? Why, that's obscene. Out of sight. Is there to be no reward for my investment and labor? When assured, there wouldn't be. The emperor hereby bans profits. He fled to a saner land. The news quickly spread through the guilds and trades. Oh, dear, the royal provisioner said. If I'm restricted just to my cost, where will I get money to expand? And the merchant of venison realized he wouldn't be able to pay for a global voyage to seek more deer. Explorer, I'm afraid there'll be no herd shot round the world. Tinker, give up trying to build a better blunderbuss. Better keep these old worn-out tools. Blacksmith, cancel my order for new tools. The blacksmith then shelved plans to rebuild his smithy to make it more productive and efficient. What? No addition for me to build? Woodsman, you can spare those trees. And so the emperor's nephew had no summer job chopping trees. Oh, what's that? Well, I'll just nationalize the woods, make my nephew a, a captain, a major, a colonel, and have the army cut the trees. Wait, said the royal vizier. You cannot seize the forest for the trees. The army has deserted because the treasury is empty. There were no profits to tax. Yeah, no taxes? That's obscene. Your ban on profits crippled investment and invention, expansion and exploration, and there are no new jobs. Then I have indirectly banned prosperity. Fortunately, 
He retracted the ban on profits, else this would be a grim fairy tale. The moral is this. A prophet is not without honor. Something to remember when we need more strength, more jobs, more investment, more productivity, and less inflation. And that's no fable. Vitamin A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. That's, oh, the weight, the weight. I gotta check the weight. It's okay. Everything's terrific. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Get pajamas for the children. Get a hundred postage stamps. Get a painter. Get a pap test. Get a list of summer camps. Get that. It's my daughter. Go away. I'm functioning. Get the handyman to fix the leak. Get out and rent a car. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, you are disturbing me. No, 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 no. If, if, if it's that important, just, just lay it on me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you finished? Good. Now, surprise. Surprise. Uh, I am genuinely going to be calm about this. What's more, I am going to be rational. I am going to be fanciful, even. I am going to pretend that I am talking to a real person instead of a demented 13-year-old. <laughs> oh, oh, honey. 
Oh, please, would you, would you take off the eye makeup, huh? It's, it's the wrong color. It's all smudged and it's mine, okay? Not okay. Look, look, I think we better get one thing straight. Woman to kid. I am not the town dumping ground, no. No, and I emphatically reject your premise. Your premise that, that every time some goon friend of yours cuts you dead, every time you get a lousy grade, every time your face breaks out, it's all simply because I am the mad woman of Central Park West, and I have filled you with loony jeans. <laughs> that, that is precisely what you said, and I deny it. I can prove it. I, don't, 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 don't turn on that TV. Look at me. Look at me, or I'll kill your nose. <laughs> I am, I am extremely well organized. <laughs> look, look, if I happen to be suffering some, uh, some little setback, some little, some little breakdown, I don't lay it on my mother. I go to my own garage for repairs, which happens to be what I am in the middle of doing right now. I I'm just trying to make everything work. Look, I said, look, look at all those lists. Now, have you ever heard of a really crazy lady who made so many lists, huh? huh? Look at all those lists. Look, 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 here, here, the pink ones, they're all for you. Okay, okay, buy new recycled jeans for girl child. Did. Take girl child to ballet class. Did. Send girl child to therapist. Might. <laughs> why, uh, why don't I make up my mind about what? Whether I am a normal mother or a quasi-actress? What do you mean, quasi? <laughs> okay, okay, don't push me too far. Sit down. I said put it there. All right, now you listen to me. I, um, I have played this mother routine by all the rule books. And not because anybody put a gun to my head, but because I wanted to. It comes naturally to me. I've enjoyed it, and, and I think I'm pretty good at it. And so does your brother. Of course he's older. I am a normal mother. First you have a son, then you have a daughter. <laughs> what? What? What is not normal? What? What, that you haven't had, you haven't had 13 theme birthday parties? You have had 324 sleepovers in the past six days. And on the seventh you rested, not me. No. No, you are absolutely right. This is getting us nowhere. Which is where I am anyway. <laughs> Send kid to boarding school. <laughs> you are not allowed to watch television for the rest of your natural life. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Do you know what I've got to do? I've got to get like a, like a what? Like a file box for my zingers. That's it. That's it. That's definitely it. Get yourself a file box for zingers. That kid is never going to catch me empty-mouthed again. Quasi-actress. <laughs> Quasi-child. Terrific. Very witty. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Do not be deeply affected by your child. Remember, you were one. One what? All right, all jokes aside, I, uh, I have got to straighten out this room. One, straighten out room. Do not pass go again. No. No, first, first you've got to make your bed. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> and then, and then lie in it. <laughs> and then get out of it. Now you know, it wasn't supposed to be like this. So I'll sing and dance and make the people happy. Turn disasters into jokes.
The funny thing is, she really was. <laughs> pages under overprivileged. Please leave your name and number when you hear the beep and you'll get a full tank of unleaded gas. Above all, do not have a good day. I got it. Thank you. This is the appointment director of Alpha Confrontation Therapy, reconfirming that your first session begins Tuesday at 6 a.m. and ends a week from the following Sunday after the third Saturday. Is that clear? I want some acknowledgement, ladies and gentlemen. I got it. Thank you. I got it. Oh, yes. Yes, I got it. Thank you. That's good. I got it. I got it. That's excellent. Just pay attention. Okay, one, share. Two, create your own space. Three, get off your position. For what? What am I doing? Well, I I'm making a list. Because that's what I do for a living. I make lists for a living. Look, look, just stay out of my space, okay? Stay in your own space. Just get in your Are own you there? Space. You there? What? What? You want to share with us? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a mistake. You see, I was, I was, I was just... Taking like... notes is not allowed. I didn't know it was verboten. Heil! <laughs> Front and center. I'm not ready yet. Where are you coming from? I don't know. Actually, I come from New Jersey. <laughs> Sorry. Don't you know you're here to cut that kind of crap? As a matter of fact, I do. I know that I'm here to... Oh, shut up, you twit. Now get off it. And share. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Uh, this is very hard. It shouldn't be, because you see, I, um, I used to be a performer. I, I mean, I am. I, I mean, I'd like to be, but... <clears throat> okay. Okay, there is something that I have been thinking about all day as I've been sitting there. This thing about a woman's goals, and, 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 and what's the right goal, and, and, and what's the wrong goal, and... Uh... <laughs> do, 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 do. It's the wrong goal. Woo! In the wrong goal. Woo! Okay, okay, I know. I know. I know, I know. I make too many jokes. And they are lousy. Not in the living room. I'll tell you what your goal is. You're just a show-off. And every single person here knows you are a phony creep. Let's see hands. Okay, okay, I admit it, I love applause. Did you ever get any? All my life, I was a very talented kid. Who told you that? My mother. Oh, what makes her an expert? She was a fortune teller. Did she tell you you'd wind up here? Is all this a fantasy? Everyone no. thinks they can write a book or be a movie star. No, no, you don't understand. Hand them a guitar. Excuse me. Listen, just listen. You see, I did all that stuff. I won amateur contests. I toured major vaudeville theaters. By the time I was eight years old, I played the Roxy. That was a clone of the music hall. And then I quit because I got too old, 14, but I was, I was absolutely delighted. Because then I could be a normal teenager like my best friend, Peggy. Now she, she was a show-off. Oh, she really had a down to an art. But she had her life together. And mine kept falling apart. Well, now it's many years later. And why do I give a damn? Because I'm stuck. I'm stuck with this memory of Peggy. When I'm considering who I am. Wait a minute, hold it. cheerleader I can still remember very well as she stood before the band with her pom-poms in her hand and her shiny auburn locks and her spotless ankle socks how she'd get the stadium to yell give him the axe the axe the axe give him the axe the axe the axe 
Yay! Peg was really into cheerleading. It's a panacea, she would say. If your hopes are kind of blah, you can raise them with a raw. You can get your life to work with a locomotive jerk. And a twirled baton can whirl your woe away. Oh, how I wanted to be Peggy. were kind of tight, or if ever he would frown that the job had got him down. Peggy stood and led him in a cheer. Give me an H, give me an R, give me a B-L-O-C-K. H and R block. Hooray! When the doctor diagnosed the twins' measles, Peggy had her battle stations clear. She stood beside their beds, smiling at their swollen heads. And she said, come on now, boys, let me hear a little noise. And before you know, the spots had disappeared. Sis boom ba, sis boom bay, mean old measles, go away. Oh, how I wanted to be taken. and what she was and why she was and where she was determined she would go. Twelve years later came a long letter and to put it bluntly, I was zapped. Peggy wrote that Bob was fine but he's never home till nine and the kids are nearly grown so they're mostly on their own and my dreams have all come true and so now what do I do? Cause I'm dragging on my feet and I'm feeling obsolete. Every day seems twice as long and I know there's something wrong and I guess I ought to change it but I'm trapped. Give me a tea. was that Bob called me. Peggy's in a place called Happy Gnome. And he loves her very much, and the kids are both in touch. So he doesn't understand when she pushes back his hand. And she's hard to recognize with her red and swollen eyes. And her Thorazine and lithium control. And oh, he's confused by what she asked him. She said, Bob, I remember what the cheers were, but tell me, what was all the cheering for? Give me a T, give me an H, give me an E, uh, uh, give me an E, give me an N, give me a D, uh, uh, T-H-E-E-N-D, T-H-E-E-N-D, the end. The end. Well, well, well. You feel better now, you twit? You can't win. They got it. They applauded. Oh, they'll applaud anything. And you wouldn't know talent if you could spell it. With a T and an A. You were just showing off. Okay. Okay, now you just have to cut it out now. Because, uh, I really am trying very hard to get out of my room. I mean, off my position. And you are trying to destroy me just to prove that you have power. Okay, so I'm a show off. So what? Big deal. Now, 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 you know that if you're a performer, you've got to be. And I want to be. I, I, I want to get out there and I... I want to create my own space. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's worth the 300 bucks, you egomaniac. Thank you. 
Oh. Thank you, too. Okay, okay, Knuckles, but just for a minute. I am not going to answer you until you stop calling me Mommy Dearest. <laughs> That's better. What am I doing? Actually, uh, you're uh, old mama, little girl. Your old mama has a gig, 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 gig. You know what a gig is? You know everything. No, 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 no. It's, it's downtown in the village, and it's a whole new act. And I've made myself a whole new dress. Now, where did I put it? Where is it? Oh, oh, here, here, here. Here it is, here, here. Is this gorgeous, huh? Okay. You like it? You've got no taste. No, no, it's not the same old act. It's a new act. It's very, um, it's very contemporary. It's, uh, it's very with it. It's very country. It's, uh, it's very western. It's very blues. Uh, it's very punk. What do you mean, how much am I paying them? <laughs> it's not nice to talk to a mother like that. Not nice. No, actually, actually, honey, you know, you could do something for me. You, you could come down there with me, and, and you could sit out in the audience and, and, and then support me, and then we could have a soda, and, you know, you could... Oh, no. No, I, I wouldn't want you to die of humiliation. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I don't mind. It's cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Okay, then just stay home. Goodo. Okay. Okay, get with it, man. You can do it. You can do it. Good evening. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Brothers and brothers. Sisters and sisters, and welcome to the Bitter Pits. Tonight, you lucky devils, you lucky devils, you're going to hear some ballads, some ballads from the singing mother. <laughs> waiter, waiter, no serving while I'm singing. Why? Why? You twit? Doesn't know why. You know why? Because the ice blows my mind. That's why. Okay, 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 okay. Hit it, guys. Hit it, guys. No guys. Okay, okay. We don't need guys. Ha! Okay. Mum. What makes me love him? It's not his singing. I've heard his singing. It ain't so good. I gotta learn how to play the guitar. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen anybody <laughs> lay an egg like this since I was a little girl. And my, uh, my father did an act at Carnegie Hall. Well, he, he didn't sing, he didn't dance, he didn't, he didn't play the guitar. He did a hypnotist act, and uh, he wasn't even the hypnotist. The hypnotist was a cat named Puffy. Now, my mother and I, we were, we were in the audience at Carnegie Hall, heavily disguised as the two who had paid. <laughs> well, now, the cat ran away in the middle of his act. M my father was very surprised, but my mother wasn't. That's why my father's fortune was the only fortune that my mother never told. That's true love for you. And I think that one of the reasons that their marriage lasted so long was because of her incredible sense of humor. Like she'd always say about my daddy. What makes me love him? It's not his singing. I've heard his singing. It sours the milk. It's gotten to the point where I prefer that kind of milk. 
What makes me love him? It's not his learning. He's learned so slowly his whole life long. This crystal ball said that I was going to marry a prince of Wall Street but he he turned out to be a writer of musical comedies he uh, he spotted me at an audition and I was very flattered by his attention but but I was intimidated by his success and by his reputation as an intellectual and by his mind-boggling eccentricity I had to impress him. I had to impress him, but how? How? How am I going to impress a guy? I don't know what. Ah, ah, first, get thin thighs for tennis. Okay. <laughs> thin thighs. Then take tennis lessons for your new thin thighs. Ten. Memorize titles and authors. Read more books. No. No, you've got to read better books. At least, read book reviews. <laughs> Get thin, get him. Now he must be interested. Where does he take me on our first date, huh? Huh? Oh, Sardis. Oh, oh my lord, it's, it's fate. It's absolute fate. We are seated beneath the caricature of the Lunts. Où sont les neiges d'antan? I say that to my swain. But, oh, I'll have a scotch on the rocks with ice, please. You know, you know, for sheer length, for sheer attenuated length, there are not sentences like those of Marcel Proust. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was, I was rereading Gide the other day. <laughs> Andrew Gide. The, the book about, about the husband and the Arab boy and... Easy it's not. You see, I am in over my head. Well, I mean, all of his friends and colleagues are... A, older and smarter than I am. B, more sophisticated and successful than I am. C, better dressed than I am. D, I'll bluff my way through. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. <laughs> no, I, I feel like a, I feel like a fool and a fraud and a cliche and a klutz. I'm, I'm not any of those things, but that's how I'm behaving. And I'm so afraid that I'm going to lose him completely. So I figure, what the heck? And I tell him. Maybe it's my style. Maybe it's my face. Maybe it's my vote. All I know is, show me a glass of water, 
I'll show you a soggy dress. Show me a tube of toothpaste. I'll show you a mess. Show me a fresh laid sidewalk. And guess where my footprints are? Show me a fire hydrant. I'll show you my car. Show me the latest dance steps. I'll show you the latest fall. Show me the train to Boston. I'll show you St. Paul. Show me a hundred lighters. I'll show you one that won't. Show me a priceless vase. <laughs> no, don't. Still. Maybe I could do. Don't laugh. I could do. Don't laugh. Well, maybe you could be, who knows, proud. All right, so laugh, but not too loud. If I can convince, don't laugh me. Why can I convince? Don't leave. Why, I am proud of you. Why do you think I keep schlepping you around like this? Why, you, you are a combination of, of Anne Margaret and Margaret Mead. As Raffaella Sabatini once said, she was born with the gift of laughter and the sense that the world was mad. How that man could talk. Show me a Jackson Pollock. I'll show you it's upside down. Mention Balenciaga. I'll know it's a town gown. Play me a song by Schoenberg. And watch how I hum along. Show me a book by Sartre. Show me a church by Chartres. gonna do don't laugh oh, somebody's gonna do don't laugh well everything's gonna be you watch by you hear a laugh that laugh is mine it's done i hope right Unlisted. I'm sorry I'm not here in the flesh to answer the phone, but try to picture it. <gasps> I got the picture. I checked out the rehearsal studio and it's perfect. We can have it for two hours, so your new act is underway. Now don't forget to bring the pianist, the drummer, and <laughs> your checkbook. Love ya. No, no. No, I feel terrific. What did I have? I had a, uh, I had a yogurt and a uh, half of a Diet Danish. Okay, big boy, where do you want to go from? Which part of the routine? Oh, the sexy part. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say that. Okay, no, no, I'm gonna try, I'm very good. Okay, it's, um, it's, uh, let's see. One, two, three, bump, ziggity, bump. No. Uh, one, two, three, bump, ziggity, bump, bump, bump. Well, then you do it for me, okay? You sure it's not too much? 
No, wait a minute. Listen to me. Listen to me. Are you positive? Think about this. Positive that I shouldn't have three boys behind me? I know. I know everybody has three boys behind them. No, no, I don't want to be like everybody else. But everybody else is working. Okay. Okay, okay. How about just... just two? Two nice big boys. Two boys. Two boys. Two boys. Two boys. Two boys. One. A midget. <laughs> It's, it's just that it's very tough going out there and, uh, and performing again all alone. Do I look okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. No, the hat. No, no, I'm very grateful to you. You're a very good choreographer. I tried a lot before you, but you're a very good choreographer. No, no, it's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. Okay. Ready? I'll follow you. Right. Okay. And... Push me, shove me, turn me around, but I'm no one's toy. You can spy me, talk me, upside or down, but I'm no one's toy. I sing my own sweet melody, I go my own sweet way. I won't beg round tomorrow. Could squeeze me, tease me, say I'm your own, but I'm no one's toy. You can charm me, chase me, follow me. Oh, I won't be coy. You may not like it much, but I'm my own. But great choice, biggity bop, and not so sugar and spicy, a lacy and nicey, cutie. You're good, new and joy. really disgusting. No, no, it's not your fault. It's, uh, it's just I can't do that kind of stuff anymore. Oh, no. No, if I have to go back into clubs to get going, that's terrific. I'll play the lounge at Mount Sinai. <laughs> it's just that I, uh, I can't do all those songs. What songs? All of those women's songs. All those words about women, what we're supposed to look like and, and feel like and be like. Oh, there are hundreds of them. Oh, sure, like, uh, like, uh, ah. When I have a brand new hairdo And my eyelashes all in curl I float like the clouds on air do I enjoy being a girl The girl that I marry will have to be As soft and as pink as a nursery <laughs> made of lace. I talk on the telephone for hours with a pound and a half of cream upon my face. Try a little, 
tenderness. Hachoo! A beast so happy to keep his dinner warm as he goes onward and upward. Happy to say good evening, dear. I'm pregnant. You're having my baby. <laughs> what a wonderful way of saying how much you love me. I'm having his baby. Everybody ought to have a mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone who's efficient and reliable. Yeah. Obedient yeah. and pliable. There is nothing like a day. Women are irrational. That's all there is to that. Their heads are full of cotton, hay, and rags. They're nothing but exasperating, irritating, vacillating, agitating, calculating, maddening, and infuriating hands. I'm a woman, you are man. I am smaller, so you can be taller than. Oh, women is a sort of dead thing. A fair woman is a absolutely a Push me, shove me, turn me around, cause I'm no one's toy. You can charm me, chase me, follow me home. I won't be kind. You may not like it much, but I'm my own. We'll be back with more of Summer Show right after this brief intermission. Somebody's gonna do. I once said nuts to them, so was it gutsy or just nutsy to spill my guts to them? Tried singing folksy, blang, blang. Tried being sexy. Don't think of Peggy, don't think of thinking. Okay, okay. Up, 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 I won't give up. Still climbing, but where's the crap? Still making lists. 
this, but now there's something new. I check my list and sometimes follow through. Still fighting fact, still fighting fear. A bump, a bump, a bump from here. From here to where is still not clear. Try to be with it. Now I'm without it. My act is nowhere. My room's still messy. My husband's for me. The kids still fight me. It's still the battle of Central Park West. Like Mother Courage said to Mother Hen, don't just sit on those eggs. Hatch them. <laughs> on a scale of ten, go out and win. that note. You can't come in. Ever. No, 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 it's my daughter. No, no, she's too young for you. And too old for me. Would you please leave me alone? I am trying to talk to my agent. You do? Yes, but is it a real job? Singing on a talk show. No, not both at the same time. She is such a smart aleck. I don't know where she gets it from. Maybe you could book her at a reformatory. Put down that lipstick. Oh, not you. No, I'm sorry. No. No, I am. I'm concentrating. Okay. Okay, I do a, a four-minute number, and then I sit down and be hilarious. Just a minute. Get up. It's the phoniest faint I've ever seen in my life. No, your friends are not going to disown you if they see me on television. Then tell them you're adopted. Okay, okay, book me on the show. That kid is not going to run my life. Terrific, terrific. Talk shows, new beginnings. You do enough talk shows, you become a household word. Mud. No. No? I, I, I do not believe in adversity. Do you know what I do with adversity? I go under. No, I don't. I triumph over adversity. I've done it before and I can do it again. You say you don't believe me. You say you want an example. Okay, my marriage. Take my husband, please. No, no, no more cheap jokes. My husband, he's adorable. He is cuckoo as a clock, but he is really adorable. You know, he was supportive before we knew what the word meant. But by the time my kids were rock and rolling around the schoolyard, I was Mrs. Mommy, the once was. Fiddlesticks, he cried. He often cries things like that. <laughs> Thou canst and willst work again. Venture forth. So I did. But that was way back in the days of monogram towels. When I believed if you marry a baker, you get free bread, right? Well, I mean, you marry an accountant, you get your taxes done. You marry a taxidermist, you get elk stuffed. <laughs> I married a prince of Broadway, and I couldn't get a part in one of his shows. Oh, I auditioned. And I auditioned, and I auditioned, and you know, I can't think of anything more humiliating and demeaning than auditioning, unless it's auditioning for your own husband's show five times. Five times, five times. <laughs> Special hi to you guys. <laughs> Should I sing the same song I sang the last few times? <laughs> you know, you know, this is the first time I ever heard of not sleeping with the author to get the part. Shut up. Well, I got the part. And do you, uh, you want to know what happiness is? <laughs> I'm going to tell you lucky people what genuine, genuine happiness is. Genuine happiness is sitting next to the producer who never wanted you and... The nominees for the Tony Award for the best female supporting performance in a musical are Barbara Streisand, Barbara Harris, mm. Barbara... Why isn't my name Barbara? <laughs> is it too late to change it? 
But how would I spell it? And the winner is... overwhelmed really I am you see you see I don't believe in competition really I don't but I would have died if I hadn't won <laughs> and I wish to thank all the big people who made this possible Will Chamberlain Charles de Gaulle Arnold Schwarzenegger no no I didn't say anything like that I just said um, I said, thank you. And boy, am I glad I won. That was a terrific time. I want it again. I've been fat, I've been thin, thin is better. I've been out, I've been in. Losing isn't any fun. Rain is fine, but when it's done, sun is better. I've been poor, I've been rich. Rich is better. Fancy or not a stitch. Which is better? I've been healthy and in pain. better. Family is better. Love is better. Time is a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reject midlife crisis cliches. <laughs> take a lover. No, 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 no. Take, uh, take clothes to the cleaner. Pick up a fellow. No, 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 no. No, pick, uh, pick up groceries. Have a facial. Have an affair. No. Look for housekeeper. Look for 
Mr. Good Bar. <laughs> Found. Not at a bar. At a school PTA meeting. A tall, ascetic looker in bottle green corduroy and long hair. <laughs> The kid's teacher. <laughs> She's got a crush on him. Oh, it's so sweet. I said, she doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> he said, he said, listen, I'm an enormous admirer of yours. You know, we saw you perform at the school benefit, and you are very funny. But you have a unique take on everything. Oh, I wouldn't worry about those other mothers. They must have mixed feelings of admiration and jealousy towards you, because you are, after all, a pretty glamorous creature. <laughs> he then gave me a non-crooked, dazzling, young smile. And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I rest my case. <laughs> During the next few days, between lying in bed, singing lessons, dinner parties, making lists, trying to listen to what my children were saying, I gave a lot of thought to some highly imaginative, conceivable situations with Mr. Townley. He was roughly 25 or 26. I was roughly 30 or 40. <laughs> he was roughly a newlywed, and I was roughly not really unhappily married. In fact, in fact, sir, on a scale of one to ten, I would give it a comfortable seven, or maybe even an eight, whereas my friends are lucky if they're three or four in it. What's the use, huh? What's the use? <laughs> what the heck does he want with me? <laughs> Who needs the aggravation? And how can I pull it off? <laughs> By 11.30 the next day, I had already rejected 12 knockout outfits. I had put on and taken off so much makeup, my nose looked like it was ready for AA. I was about to chuck the whole thing, just chuck it. When I got this inspiration, I washed my face clean. I put the slightest amount of glow all over my skin, a hint of coverall under my eyes, a smidgen of blush all on my cheeks, and some lard on my lips. Then I put on a creamy white silk schoolgirl-like shirt and I tucked it into rather snug-fitting blue jeans and riding tight boots. And I looked at myself full in the mirror. And I loved myself so much that for a minute I didn't need Mr. Townley or anybody else. Okay. There's nothing, um, there's nothing very, uh, very veiled or very devious about this. I, um, I am a slightly older broad who is wildly attracted to you. No, I've been having a, a, a heck of a time playing a game, but now that it's time to put up or shut up, I don't know how to behave. Nope, believe it or not. It's the first time that anything like this has ever happened. A few crushes on movie stars, that's been the limit of my experience, but you see, I... I desperately don't want to be foolish. I, I don't want to be one of those ladies. But I don't think I can bring it off. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, maybe it needs somebody even older than I am. You know, somebody who knows the ropes. Somebody who knows how to get in and out of the Dixie Hotel in 12 minutes. <laughs> That's it. No, 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 it's a sensational idea. I knew I'd come up with it. No, 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 it's, it's, it's this creepy place on 43rd Street. It's where all the hookers go. No, but we could meet in the cocktail lounge. The cocktail lounge, do you love it? And we could sit there and we could have a drink and a peanut and a laugh and maybe it'll all work out, but you know what? I am never gonna get to be a drag, never. Because I am happily married. And I love my husband and I love my children, so I am never gonna get to be hysterical and dependent. Well, not dependent, anyway. And the best part, the best part is that when it's over, it's over, finished, boom, finish, 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 because we are both mature people. And we'll both get what we want out of it, if you know what I mean. You don't. Look, look, I don't want to be crass, but, um, but we both know why we're doing it, huh? 
We're doing it for what? We're doing it for the, uh, the fun, huh? The fun and the, uh, the deliciousness? <laughs> the deliciousness and the spirit? The spirit and the sex? Say something. Now, I know that I've blown it and you hate me, but, 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 but say something wonderful or I'm going to drown myself in your drink. Go. <laughs> You're talking too slow. You've got nothing but bad and humiliating news. It's okay. No, no, it's terrific. It's terrific. You wanted me for what? About a minute and a half and now you don't. Look, it's, it's my own fault. It's my mouth. I can't stop it. I'm famous for it. Why do you think they have me on all those talk shows? <laughs> but I've got to tell you one thing. I'm a lot more interesting and a lot more amusing than the next school mother who propositions you is going to be. <laughs> That's for sure. It's for absolute sure. Come on. Come on. Let's have one more quick shot tomorrow. Just to talk and explore the whole thing. No, 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 I won't carry on. Now, now you know I can make you laugh. I'll bring dirty pictures. on my favorite talk show. Oh, by the way, I open in Vegas on the 12th, Reno on the 13th, Tahoe on the 14th, and goes on the 11th. <laughs> and my latest book, my latest book, The Scarsdale Letter. <laughs> How to sin while you get thin. <laughs> it's going to hit your bookstores, and I'm going to be there in person, en personne, to autograph copies. I'm going to be in New Jersey on the 16th, New York on the 17th, New Mexico on the 18th, New London, New Hebrides, New Hampshire on the 19th, and New Guinea in March. <laughs> oh, but seriously. Seriously. Johnny, Ed, Doc, Merv, Mike, Phil, Dick, Baba Wawa. <laughs> seriously. I've got something on my mind. I'm not just a mere piece of fluff. Whoop! Whoop! 
the significant parts for women. Have you seen the women's significant parts? Jane Fonda? Jane Fonda? Give them back. Come on, Jane, bring them up here. It's nice, Jane. Look, Jane, she looks good, huh? See Jane. See Jane run. <laughs> I want a chance. Chance. I want both. <laughs> to express my deep and complex feelings the same way Donny Osmond and John Davidson can, if you get my drift. What drift? For this, you had to put one foot out of your bedroom to play the laughing girl again with the J-O-K-E-S? But wait a minute. This time it's different. It's a job. Getting paid. So have some fun. Up, up, up. Good oh, good oh, good oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Say, say, is it beautiful out there in your tiny bedrooms? Let's see tiny hands. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful here. Even knowing we're being watched by millions of hostile people. No, no, I can take it. I can take it because my head's on straight now that I'm into Est, TM, and SM. <laughs> oh, you are beautiful. You are beautiful because we are beautiful. And we are beautiful because you are beautiful. We are here to live and love and plug and get rich. For you and you and you and you and you and you and you. We are your beautiful stars because we are your beautiful lives. Thank you. you know, hold it down, please. You know, you know, I know, I know this for a fact, that I was never considered a really beautiful star until I got my own telephone. No, it's true. A telethon, a rare disease, poof, a star is born. Listen, you guys, you guys want to know the disease that I'm pushing this year, huh? Slipped discos. Well, don't knock it. It made me a star. Huh? And this year, this year, this year, this year, this year, this year, we have chosen a slipped disco queen. We got nominating letters from all over the world and South America. Heartbreaking tales, I kid you not. But the letter that just wrenched me into, that just tore me apart, that just, just let me tell you like it is. I can't. Because the letter, the letter was written in Castilian. Well, I had to have it translated. Dry eyes, audio. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers in her hair and a dress cut down to there. She would merengue and do the cha-cha. And while she tried to be a star, Tony always tended bar across a crowded floor. They worked from eight to four, but they were young and they had each other. Who could ask for more? Lola dancing there, and when she finished, he called her over. Hey, Lola, call me, call me, oh. <gasps> But Rico went a bit too far. Tony sailed across the bar, and then the punches flew. The chairs were split in two. There was blood and a single gunshot. But just who shot who at the Copa? Shiva! 
me what's the catch no no I'd be glad to audition what's the part better than the lead <laughs> what's the other catch a 10-week tryout on the road I can't do that well because I've got a family and I <laughs> that's spoken like a true agent no 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 he, he, he's all for it. it it's it's my kids they need me I'm their sparring partner Okay, I promise. I promise I'll sleep on it. Actually, actually, I have insomnia. Do you know why? Neither do I. At night, I just lie here in bed, and I wait for the sand person. <laughs> and while I ma wait, I make a list. I make a list of my liabilities. And that's a big mistake because it keeps me up until it's time to make breakfast. Mrs. Quasi Modo. You should make a list of your assets. My assets? My assets are mainly a trio. Three kids. My husband is the oldest. <laughs> and they are the reasons that I sit here and I make these endless lists every day of my life. They do need me. They're at a tough age. But so am I. Maybe if I could uh, make peace with them, maybe if I were not such a smart aleck. saying maybe. I'm gonna do it. Get pajamas for the children, get a hundred postage stamps, get a painter, get a pap test, get a list of summer camps, get the handyman to fix the leak, get out and rent a car. Get and concentrate upon yourself, you might go very far. Call the grocer with your order, yogurt, lettuce, lemon, lime. Call to cancel singing lesson, make it up some other time. Call to find a cleaning lady, you've had ten so far this year. Don't forget to call your agent, you're pursuing a career. Buy a roll of shelving paper, fix the other TV set. Take the kids to buy new sneakers, take the doggy to the vet. Call the butcher for some liver, breasts of chicken chops and veal. And again the grocer, eggs and cheese and milk and matzo meal. Go to work and be a mother and do both up to the hilt. That's a solid marble base on which your house of guilt is built. They're the strings that pull you back and forth in sudden violent jerks. The strings of both get tangled so that neither of them works. Well, let's all go to the circus family fun for years and years. As you're sitting there, it hits you that the kids are bored to tears. This weekend, cancel everything and stay at home without a doubt. Concentrate upon their problems, French and science charts and graphs. Last week's nightmares, last week's laughs. Proper dinner, outgrown clothes. Share their games and TV shows. After all, you tell yourself, it's what life is all about. So you stay. 
kids are going out. If this is so, if this is it, there's really no excuse. The ties are now cut loose. So 86, the past, I'm on my way. dogs, cats, hamsters, Tootie, come on in. Okay, everybody come on in. We're going to have a lovely, meaningful dialogue and then... Hey, guys. What? To our favorite crazy lady, we heard you. We've gone to the cleaners and the grocers and we'll cook supper and we'll do all our chores so you can have space and time to get going. All our love, your favorite trio. P.S. We think you should clean up your room. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet fantasy. And, and they mean it for today. But the truth, the truth is I don't want to be completely free of them. Because then I would be completely free. And that's scary. So now, now I really am going to clean up my room. But not, not just to sit here and make lists, no. No, now I have the time. I am allowed the time to do what? To try to make it all come true. I still have time to sing and dance and make the people happy. Turn disaster into jokes. Stay with the man I marry and my dogs and children. You ain't seen nothing yet, you folks. No, you ain't seen nothing yet. You community of squirrels who loved to frolic and who seemed to have endless energy. Their energy came from the nuts they gobbled up in great quantities every day. And they depended on one squirrel in particular who was best at finding nuts and collecting them and bringing them home. time there were plenty of nuts in their very own forests for the nut gatherer to fetch. After a while though, nuts became harder to find. The squirrel had to climb higher and higher and search in a lot of out of the way places. He also had to devise an ingenious transportation system. Everything cost him more. Now he had to raise the prices he charged the other squirrels. This made them very unhappy. You see, they assumed nuts were awfully easy to find, harvest, and deliver. That's when they appealed to the Squirrel King. But not having any nut-gathering experience himself, he also didn't realize the expense and the chances the nut-gathering squirrel had to take. So, he listened to the squirrel's complaints and then created a department nutty persons to determine the price the squirrel could charge for his nuts. 
the Department of Nutty Persons set a price for nuts that was too low for the squirrel to do as good a job as he used to. He could no longer afford to go looking for nuts in out-of-the-way places or even at home. If only the Department of Nutty Persons would let me do my job, the squirrel said, I know everything would be all right again. But the department stood firm. And soon, there were fewer nuts to go around, and his customers began to run out of energy. Like any fable, this one has a moral too. When the king starts meddling in the nut business, it's enough to drive the squirrel up a tree. And just like the nuts in the squirrel kingdom, supplies of energy are becoming more expensive to secure. So let the energy producers do their job. Don't drive them up a tree, and that's no fable. The next summer show, Gossip from the Forest, is a chilling World War I drama that foretells the tragic consequences of Germany's 1918 surrender. Some historians claim that World War II began before the ink dried on that ill-fated peace treaty. Gentlemen, I have come to hear the Allied proposals for an armistice. I have no proposals to make. But we wish to inquire as to the conditions under which the Allies would agree to an armistice. I have no conditions to propose. I'm here to answer you if you require an armistice. Do you require an armistice? If you do, I can acquaint you with the terms. I cannot make them myself. That is the work of the governments I represent. It's an historic moment you won't want to miss on our next summer show. See you then. Summer Show is another Mobile Showcase Network presentation brought to you by Mobile Corporation. comedies he uh, he spotted me at an audition and I was very flattered by his attention but but I was intimidated by his success and by his reputation as an intellectual and by his mind-boggling eccentricity I had to impress him I had to impress him but how 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 am I gonna impress a guy I don't know what ah ah first get thin thighs for tennis okay thin thighs. Then take tennis lessons for your new thin thighs. Ten. Memorize titles and authors. Read more books. No. No, you've got to read better books. At least read book reviews. <laughs> Get thin. Get him. Now he must be interested. Where does he take me on our first date, huh? Huh? Oh, Sardis. Oh, oh my lord, it's, it's fate. It's absolute fate. We are seated beneath the caricature of the Luntz. Où sont les neiges d'antan? I say that to my swain. But, oh, I'll have a scotch on the rocks with ice, please. You know, you know, for sheer length, for sheer attenuated length, there are not sentences like those of Marcel Proust. <laughs> I, um, I was, I was rereading Gide the other day. Andrew Gide. The, the book about, about the husband and the Arab boy and... Easy it's not. You see, I am in over my head. Well, I mean, all of his friends and colleagues are A, older and smarter than I am B, more sophisticated and successful than I am C, better dressed than I am D, I'll bluff my way through <laughs> It's no 
no use. <laughs> no, I, I feel like a... I feel like a fool and a fraud and a cliché and a klutz. I'm, I'm not any of those things. But that's how I'm behaving. And I'm so afraid that I'm gonna lose him completely. So I figure, what the heck? And I tell him. Maybe it's my style. Maybe it's my face. Maybe it's my bow. All I know is Show me a glass of water, I'll show you a soggy dress. Show me a tube of toothpaste, I'll show you a mess. Show me a fresh laid sidewalk, and guess where my footprints are. Show me a fire hydrant, I'll show you my car. Show me the latest dance steps, I'll show you the latest fall. Show me the train to Boston, I'll show you St. Paul. Show me a hundred lighters, I'll show you one that won't. Show me a priceless vase, <laughs> no don't. Still. Maybe I could do, don't laugh, good. I could do. Don't laugh. Well, maybe you could be, who knows, proud. All right, so laugh, but not too loud. If I can convince, don't laugh me. Why can I convince? Don't leave. Why I am proud of you. Why do you think I keep schlepping you around like this? Why you, you are a combination of, of Anne Margaret and Margaret Mead. As Raffaella Sabatini once said, she was born with the gift of laughter and the sense that the world was mad. How that man could talk. Show me a Jackson Pollock. I'll show you it's upside down. Mention Balenciaga. I'll know it's a town guy. Play me a song by Schoenberg. And watch how I hum along. Show me a book by Sartre. Show me a church by Chartre. Show me what kind of fish for. Show me the way you want me. Somebody's gonna do Don't laugh oh, Somebody's gonna do Don't laugh Well Everything's gonna be You watch by You hear a laugh That laugh is mine It's done I hope for us I'm not here in the flesh to answer the phone, but try to picture it. <gasps> I got the picture. I checked out the rehearsal studio, and it's perfect. We can have it for two hours, so your new act is underway. Now, don't forget to bring the pianist, the drummer, and <laughs> your checkbook. Love ya. No, no. No, I feel terrific. What did I have? I had a, uh, I had a yogurt and a uh, half of a Diet Danish. Okay, big boy, where do you want to go from? Which part of the routine? 
Oh, the sexy part. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say that. Okay, no, no, I'm going to try. I'm very good. Okay, it's, um, it's, uh, let's see. One, two, three, bump, ziggity, bump. No. Uh, one, two, three, bump, ziggity, bump, bump, bump. Well, then you do it for me, okay? You sure it's not too much? <laughs> now, wait a minute. Listen to me. Listen to me. Are you positive? Think about this. Positive that I shouldn't have three boys behind me? I know. I know everybody has three boys. You Oh, the weight, the weight. I gotta check the weight. It's okay. Everything's terrific. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Get pajamas for the children. Get a hundred postage stamps. Get a painter. Get a pap test. Get a list of summer camp. Get the... It's my daughter. Go away. I'm functioning. Get the handyman to fix the leak. Get out and rent a car. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, you are disturbing me. No, 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 no. If, if, if it's that important, just, just lay it on me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you finished? Good. Now, surprise. Surprise. Uh, I am genuinely going to be calm about this. What's more, I am going to be rational. I am going to be fanciful, even. I am going to pretend that I am talking to a real person instead of a demented 13-year-old. <laughs> oh, oh, honey, please. Oh, please. Would you, would you take off the eye makeup, huh? It's, it's the wrong color. It's all smudged, and it's mine, okay? Not okay. Look. Look, I think we better get one thing straight. Woman to... Kid. I am not the town dumping ground, no. No, and I emphatically reject your premise. Your premise that, that every time some goon friend of yours cuts you dead, every time you get a lousy grade, every time your face breaks out, it's all simply because I am the mad woman of Central Park West, and I have filled you with loony jeans. <laughs> that, that is precisely what you said, and I deny it. I can prove it. I, don't, 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 don't turn on that TV. Look at me. Look at me, or I'll kill your nose. <laughs> I am, I am extremely well organized. <laughs> look, look, if I happen to be suffering some, uh, some little setback, some little, some little breakdown, I don't lay it on my mother. I go to my own garage for repairs, which happens to be what I am in the middle of doing right now. I I'm just trying to make everything work. Look, I said, look, look at all those lists. Now, have you ever heard of a really crazy lady who made so many lists, huh? huh? Look at all those lists. Look, 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 here, here, the pink ones, they're all for you. Okay, okay, buy new recycled jeans for girl child. Did. Take girl child to ballet class. Did. Send girl child to therapist. Might. <laughs> why, uh, why don't I make up my mind about what? Whether I am a normal mother or a quasi-actress? What do you mean, quasi? <laughs> okay, okay, don't push me too far. Sit down. I said put it there. All right, now you listen to me. I, um, I have played this mother routine by all the rule books. And not because anybody put a gun to my head, but because I wanted to. It comes naturally to me. I've enjoyed it, and, and I think I'm pretty good at it. And so does your brother. Of course he's older. I am a normal mother. First you have a son, 
Then you have a daughter. <laughs> what? What? What is not normal? What? What, that you haven't had, you haven't had 13 theme birthday parties? You have had 324 sleepovers in the past six days. And on the seventh, you rested, not me. No. No, you are absolutely right. This is getting us nowhere. Which is where I am anyway. Send kid to boarding school. <laughs> you are not allowed to watch television for the rest of your natural life. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Do, do you know what I've got to do? I've got to get like a, like a what? Like a file box for my zingers. That's it. That's it. That's definitely it. Get yourself a file box for zingers. That kid is never going to catch me empty-mouthed again. Quasi-actress. <laughs> Quasi-child. Terrific. Very witty. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Do not be deeply affected by your child. Remember you were one. One what? All right, all jokes aside, I, uh, I've got to straighten out this room. One, straighten out room. Do not pass go again. No. No, first, first you've got to make your bed. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> and then, and then lie in it. <laughs> and then get out of it. Now you know, it wasn't supposed to be like this. So I'll sing and dance and make the people happy. Turn disasters into jokes. Stay with the man I married and my dogs and children. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Funny thing is, she really was. Don't hang up. If you wish to speak to the little man, call back after six. If you wish to speak to the little darlings, look them up in the yellow pages under overprivileged. Please leave your name and number when you hear the beep and you'll get a full tank of unleaded gas. Above all, do not have a good day. I got it. Thank you. This is the appointment director of Alpha Confrontation Therapy, reconfirming that your first session begins Tuesday at 6 a.m. Hello, I'm James Earl Jones, and welcome to a very special summer show, The Mad Woman of Central Park West, starring Phyllis Newman, taped before a live audience at the John Drew Theater, East Hampton, Long Island, as a matter of fact, she's not only the star, but the chorus, the supporting cast, and the principal writer of the piece. An omnitalented gentleman named Arthur Lawrence helped her on the book and directed this unique one-woman show. When Miss Newman asked him to collaborate, Mr. Lawrence was doubtful for only a moment. And then he said, Phyllis, isn't that a bit redundant? You've been a one-woman show all your life. But as you're about to see, the idea worked like a charm. The Mad Woman of Central Park West is a musical review that combines the best songs of the best composers on Broadway. Each number tells you a little bit more about a breezy, vulnerable, showbiz lady performing a balancing act 
designed to keep her family and her career functioning normally. You don't have to be a madwoman to build your life on this kind of a tightrope, but it helps if you're talented, bold, very funny, a little scared, and above all, honest. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Phyllis Newman. Somebody's gonna do Don't laugh. Somebody's gonna do Don't laugh. Well, everything's gonna be You watch by You hear a laugh That laugh is mine It's done I hope for us for now by mobile once upon a time there lived an emperor who believed only in what he could see thus he made a policy of banishing what was abstract or immaterial the emperor hereby bans truth beauty fair play the wind and brotherly love Royal haberdasher, in, in this new robe, I see wonderful embroidery and tailoring, but what is this extra percentum you would receive? Just a bit of profit, oh potentate. Uh, profit? Why, that's obscene. Out of sight. Is there to be no reward for my investment and labor? When assured, there wouldn't be. The emperor hereby bans profits. He fled to a saner land. The news quickly spread through the guilds and trades. Oh, dear, the royal provisioner said. If I'm restricted just to my cost, where will I get money to expand? And the merchant of venison realized he wouldn't be able to pay for a global voyage to seek more deer. Explorer, I'm afraid there'll be no herd shot round the world. Tinker, give up trying to build a better blunderbuss. Better keep these old worn-out tools. Blacksmith, cancel my order for new tools. The blacksmith then shelved plans to rebuild his smithy to make it more productive and efficient. What? No addition for me to build? Woodsman, you can spare those trees. And so the emperor's nephew had no summer job chopping trees. Oh, what's that? Well, I'll just nationalize the woods, make my nephew a, a captain, a major, a colonel, and have the army cut the trees. Wait, said the royal vizier. You cannot seize the forest for the trees. The army has deserted because the treasury is empty. There were no profits to tax. Yeah, no taxes? That's obscene. Your ban on profits crippled investment and invention, expansion and exploration, and there are no new jobs. Then I have indirectly banned prosperity. Fortunately, he retracted the ban on profits, else this would be a grim fairy tale. The moral is this. A prophet is not without honor. Something to remember when we need more strength, more jobs, more investment, more productivity, and less inflation. And that's no fable. happy 
all you touch will turn gold. All men will want you. You can pick and choose them. Someday you'll find your prince. He'll be rich and handsome, and he'll love you always. Oh, I've thought a lot about it since. Yes, I've thought a lot about it since. My mother. You feel better now, you twit? You can't win. They got it. They applauded. Oh, they'll applaud anything. And you wouldn't know talent if you could spell it. With a T and an A. You were just showing off. Okay. Okay, now you just have to cut it out now. Because, uh, I really am trying very hard to get out of my room. I mean, off my position. And you are trying to destroy me just to prove that you have power. Okay, so I'm a show-off. So what? Big deal. Now, 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 you know that if you're a performer, you've got to be. And I want to be. I, I, I want to get out there, and I... I want to create my own space. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's worth the 300 bucks, you egomaniac. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, too. Okay, okay, Knuckles, but just for a minute. I am not going to answer you until you stop calling me Mommy Dearest. <laughs> That's better. What am I doing? Actually, uh, your uh, old mama, little girl, your old mama has a gig, 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 gig. You know what a gig is? You know everything. No, 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 no. It's, it's downtown in the village, and it's a whole new act. And I've made myself a whole new dress. Now, where did I put it? Where is it? Oh, oh, here, here, here. Here it is, here, here. Is this gorgeous, huh? Okay. You like it? You've got no taste. No, no, it's not the same old act. It's a new act. It's very, um, it's very contemporary. It's, uh, it's very with it. It's very country. It's, uh, it's very western. It's very blues. Uh, it's very punk. What do you mean, how much am I paying them? <laughs> it's not nice to talk to a mother like that. Not nice. No, actually, actually, honey, you know, you could do something for me. You, you could come down there with me, and, and you could sit out in the audience and, and, and then support me, and then we could have a soda, and, you know, you could... Oh, no. No, I, I wouldn't want you to die of humiliation. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I don't mind. It's cool, 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 cool. <laughs> 
Okay, then just stay home. Goodo. Okay. Okay, get with it, man. You can do it. You can do it. Good evening. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Brothers and brothers. Sisters and sisters. And welcome to the bitter pits. Tonight, 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 tonight,
my mother's crystal ball said that I was going to marry a prince of Wall Street. But he, he turned out to be a writer. And ends a week from the following Sunday after the third Saturday. Is that clear? I want some acknowledgement, ladies and gentlemen. I got it. Thank you. I got it. Oh, yes. Yes, I got it. Thank you. That's excellent. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's excellent. Just paying attention. Okay, one, share. Two, create your own space. Three, get off your position. For what? What am I doing? Well, I I'm making a list. Because that's what I do for a living. I make lists for a living. Look, look, just stay out of my space, okay? Stay in your own space. Just get in your Are own you space. Are you there? You there? What? What? You want to share with us? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a mistake. You see, I was, I was, I was just... Taking like... notes is not allowed. I didn't know it was verboten. Heil! <laughs> Front and center. I'm not ready yet. Where are you coming from? I don't know. Actually, I come from New Jersey. <laughs> Sorry. Don't you know you're here to cut that kind of crap? As a matter of fact, I do. I know that I'm here to... Oh, shut up, you twit. Now get off it. And share. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Uh, this is very hard. It shouldn't be, because you see, I am... Um, I used to be a performer. I, I mean, I am. I, I mean, I'd like to be, but... <clears throat> okay. Okay, there is something that I have been thinking about all day as I've been sitting there. This thing about a woman's goals, and, 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 and what's the right goal, and, and, and what's the wrong goal, and... Uh... <laughs> it's the wrong goal. Woo! In the wrong goal. Woo! Okay, okay, I know. I know. I know, I know. I make too many jokes. And they are lousy. Not in the living room. I'll tell you what your goal is. You're just a show-off. And every single person here knows you are a phony creep. Let's see hands. Okay, okay, I admit it, I love applause. Did you ever get any? All my life, I was a very talented kid. Who told you that? My mother. Oh, what makes her an expert? She was a fortune teller. Did she tell you you'd wind up here? Is all this a fantasy? Everyone no. thinks they can write a book or be a movie star. No, no, you don't understand. Hand them a guitar. Excuse me. Listen, just listen. You see, I did all that stuff. I won amateur contests. I toured major vaudeville theaters. By the time I was eight years old, I played the Roxy. That was a clone of the music hall. And then I quit because I got too old, 14, but I was, I was absolutely delighted. Because then I could be a normal teenager like my best friend, Peggy. Now she, she was a show-off. Oh, she really had it down to an art. But she had her life together. And mine kept falling apart. Well, now it's many years later. And why do I give a damn? Because I'm stuck. I'm stuck with this memory of Peggy. When I'm considering who I am. Wait a minute, hold it. cheerleader I can still remember very well as she stood before the band with her pom-poms in her hand and her shiny auburn locks and her spotless ankle socks how she'd get the stadium to yell give him the axe the axe the axe give him the axe the axe the axe yay Peg was really into cheerleading it's a panacea she would say if your hopes are kind of blah, you can raise them with a raw. You can get your life to work with a locomotive jerk. And a twirled baton can whirl your woe away. Oh, how I wanted to be Peggy. And oh, I admired Peggy so. and why she 
wasn't where she was determined she would go. Peggy married Bob and moved to Grand Rapids. And the twins arrived within a year. And if Bob would moan at night that the bills were kind of tight, or if ever he would frown that the job had got him down, Peggy stood and led him in a cheer. Give me an H, give me an R, give me a B L O C K. H and R block. When the doctor diagnosed the twins' measles, Peggy had her battle stations cleared. And she stood beside their beds, smiling at their swollen heads. And she said, come on now, boys, let me hear a little noise. And before you know, the spots had disappeared. Sis boom ba, sis boom bay, mean old measles, go away. Oh, how I wanted to be Peggy. and what she was and why she was and where she was determined she would go. Twelve years later came a long letter and to put it bluntly, I was zapped. Peggy wrote that Bob was fine but he's never home till nine and the kids are nearly grown so they're mostly on their own and my dreams have all come true and so now what do I do? Cause I'm dragging on my feet and I'm feeling obsolete. Every day seems as long and I know there's something wrong and I guess I ought to change it but I'm trapped give me a T give me an R just last week it was that Bob called me Peggy's in a place called Happy No and he loves her very much and the kids are both in touch so he doesn't understand when she pushes back his hand and she's hard to recognize with her red and swollen eyes and her Thorazine and lithium control and oh he's confused by what she asked him when he was standing at the door she said Bob I remember cheers were, but tell me, what was all the cheering for? Give me a T, give me an H, give me an E, ah, 